this past spring I decided to do a little makeover on our bedroom and I just thought I'd show you the little DOA process before we get into this video so I'm gonna back up quite a few months baby was still in my belly and that's when I got to work on this project I'm just gonna leave it. It'll be fine. The free horse. Ow. I didn't pick that up. Now, a screwdriver. I'm nervous. This looks very light blue. paint over there behind where the bed I'm gonna use paint right here. Oh. Are you not gonna use a roller? You're just gonna... I, I mean, I am, but I'm just gonna do this for a minute. Yeah. Well, that looks dark. That looks dark. Yeah. <laughs> I would say roll it though if you're gonna be rolling. I am. I have to do this anyway though. Is that taped? What? It's not taped underneath. Who cares? Underneath, rest, look. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm too much perfectionist. Okay, get out of here. Go, scat. Okay, we're just gonna do it. And do our best. I love it. And the final results will just bring you back to current day. I know it looks pretty dark here because the backlight of the windows, but yes, new paint, new baby, new mom life. And this room is honestly quite the mess all the time with a newborn because he's in our room all the time. And I'm still just not getting the best sleep. Now, when I filmed this, it was about, I don't know, I think he was about seven weeks old. And now he is nine weeks old as I am doing this voiceover. So he's getting bigger. Sleep is getting a little bit better. And we had some crazy things happen if you follow my Instagram. But we're getting settled. And usually in my morning, start out by waking up, putting him in the carrier. And then I will store whatever milk that I caught from the other side during nursing in the middle of the night. I don't pump because he's never had a bottle. Um, but I just, I have an oversupply as you can see, and <laughs> I just can't pour the milk down the drain. So I'm saving it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to start bottle feeding or I might donate it to a friend if someone needed it. We'll see. But for now, I'm just keeping it in the freezer, keeping it safe. So I then start out first thing after I feed the baby is I nourish myself with some homemade sourdough bread which I finally got back into since giving birth. And then I also got back into coffee, but instant coffee because that's all I really have the energy for right now. We don't have a coffee maker. 
and this morning I really was craving my chocolate butter and it's such an easy recipe so I whipped that up in about five minutes and it's from my ebook Nourish to Beauty which I printed out but it is an ebook version that you can buy on my website. And I'll go ahead and say not every morning looks like this of course. Some mornings the baby just stays in the bed with my husband for a while while I run and grab a shower really quick or try and get some food in me before he wakes up again. There is unfortunately no routine, even with him being nine weeks old as I'm recording this voiceover, he still doesn't have a routine, which is okay. I'm just learning to go with that and I'll figure it out along the way. Most every morning I always will go out and check on the chickens and give them whatever vegetable scraps that I've collected over the last couple of days and check on their food and their water just to make sure everybody looks happy and healthy. And I posted a video, I think two videos ago, of filming this chicken coop makeover. And that happened back in the spring. So if you want to see how this was built, you can check that out um, on that last video. But Either way, I'm just so happy to be able to do my morning chores in a cardigan because it means that there's a little bit of a chill in the air and it feels so nice. I was very done with the summer heat, especially being pregnant through most of it. I was very hot, um, so it feels good to <laughs> get my morning chores done and it feels even sweeter to have this little baby, which I think this is the first time you might be seeing him on my YouTube channel. And if you missed it, I had a baby. I did. He's here. He's healthy and well. I know I haven't been posting videos as much, just trying to adjust to new mom life. And unfortunately, we had a bit of a health scare with my sweet little baby because he ended up going to the emergency room and we were admitted to the hospital for about a week and he had to have emergency surgery on his stomach which I talked about again on my Instagram story so if you were there through that and praying with us through that thank you so much but he is good everything's totally okay and we're moving on trying to figure out parent life and I'm just so thankful that he is healthy and well and everything's okay so continuing on with the somewhat morning air quotes routine as I mentioned not much of a routine I will get the kitchen cleaned up and if I have the time I will make my husband breakfast I used to do this all the time not so much anymore because of the baby but get the dog fed and just try and get everybody fed pretty much myself the animals husband baby everybody's checked off and I will always refresh my milk catching little items here for when I'm nursing they just help reduce the mess it is really nice to have these inventions because I know p people just last like five years ago didn't even have these things and they're so helpful and then I get my own self ready for the day which again doesn't always happen as I am doing this voiceover I never got myself ready so it doesn't always happen usually I splash my face with water I can't do that currently so I just use this um, spring water to freshen up my face a little bit wake me up so I've got a decent amount of sleep last night Unfortunately, I woke up before him because I thought he was waking up and really he was just pooping, which happens all the time. <laughs> Today's the first day in the morning that it really felt like fall, I think. I mean, I feel like I can feel it outside, so that's big. If you've been following along thus far, I just want to say thank you for hanging out with me in my channel as it just slowly gets back on track. 
and I figure out mom life with work life and just having fun filming videos and what that's going to look like in the future. But I do have some sit down videos planned for this fall. So I'm excited to get those edited and out. But you might be able to hear a little baby squeaks in the background from my son who is always at my side. So either way, I will look forward to hopefully having you stick around to the next video. Other than that, I hope you're having a really great day and I'll see you soon.